Uh, and from from there, did you see your expansion as being a, a, a U.S. expansion, or were you thinking globally back then? Or, uh, the company was was thinking globally from the from the very beginning. Um, you know, I had been in my prior companies. We had a global distribution team, and, and so we knew how to market around the world, uh, and that was the plan all along uh, at Aluminum. So so that really wasn't a, a differentiating factor at all. U.S. clearly was the, the bigger market and the early adopter uh, part of the market, but but it was very clear that if we could come up with the sequencing technology, that it would have universal appeal. And so from the beginning. Was your plan to continue to grow the company? Do you have any any thoughts of acquisition or merger or, or anything along those lines? Or what, what was your thinking in terms of where you wanted the company to go down the road? Yeah, well, we, we always said internally that we were running Illumina to be a large standalone company. And I think to be successful, you, you sort of have to take that view. And, and it's what allowed us to take appropriate risks and to, to think big about both our opportunity and our decision-making uh, process. You know, if you're running it to be acquired, you, you do things that are suboptimal if you're really trying to be a standalone company. You invest less in R&D, and you try to drive more at the bottom line, perhaps earlier than, than, than we did. Um, so, so we were always running it that way. But having said that, you know, we were actually thinking that we would become acquired. So early on uh, in our history, people probably don't remember this, but we had a, a partnership with Applied Biosystems. So uh, I, I came in October 99, and the uh, Acting CEO had been negotiating a deal with Applied Biosystems, who was my arch enemy back at Molecular Dynamics. And so I came in, and about two weeks later, on my birthday, signed that agreement with Applied Biosystems. Wow. Um, but that, that agreement wound up blowing up uh, two or three years later. Um, but, but we always uh, were, were planning to run it as a standalone company, but we thought we would probably get acquired. And ABI was a logical acquirer. Affymetrics, in fact, was a logical acquirer because we thought you know, we definitely had a next generation technology but only a fraction of the resources and zero market footprint compared to Affymetrix. So we uh, always thought they might acquire us. But interestingly, in our history, I get asked this a lot by investors, you know, how many offers have you had that you've turned down? And the answer is one. I mean, it only happened once for us. So nobody else really tried to acquire us in our history. And we've oft often asked ourselves why that was, because that's huh. atypical, uh, I think. Um, and, and the answer, I, I think, at least the best answer I can give to that question, um, is that we were, for many years, uh, after we went public in 2000, very quietly developing a product that we launched in 2003. And everybody thought Affymetrics was going to be the winner and that we really couldn't compete with them. And it took a couple years before we showed that we could. And once we did, we exploded into the market at, at such a velocity, our stock went up so fast, that we went from being something that nobody had interest in acquiring to a company whose valuation was quite high and whose multiple was quite high. So we passed through that sort of acquisition region pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And I have a friend, actually, somebody came to work for us, um, who worked for GE. He ran business development for GE. And I asked him, you know, did GE ever think about acquiring Illumina? And he said, yeah, we did. And, and my job was to prepare the slide deck that we present to the executives uh, at <laughs> GE. And they wanted them ranked in, in stock multiple. And so you were number 100, and we never got to that slide. <laughs> there was no year we ever got to be able to slide when we reviewed the deck. And so that was probably part of the problem.